Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Coach Andres, and thank you for tuning in, ladies. Today we're gonna to talk about a specific topic that really doesn't have many points to it. It's more about a good conversation. Um, honestly, I can relate to it personally because it happened to me. And it's something more along the lines of, can you find love when you're not looking for it? Can you find love when you're not looking for it? Usually that always happens in those movies. I found love when I wasn't looking for it. And when I said er earlier about me personally finding love when I wasn't looking for it, is the truth. I wasn't looking for it. <laughs> I was not looking for it. And it just hit me and I was like, oh wow, by far the best woman I ever met. And so I'll share more stories about that another day, but I wanna talk to you about how to know that you can find love when you're not looking for it, how it's possible. So before we get started, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscription, which I really appreciate. Again, we want to notify you for more future videos. Hit that like if you like this video, and let's begin. Sometimes the harder you look, the further it gets away from you. So I understand that everything else before I've coached before about being ready, doing the work, understanding who you are, who you're not, understanding your triggers and your boundaries, knowing your self-confidence and your self-value. But you want to practice that more in the sense of creating your self-love and your world that you want to build for yourself and not put so much pressure on that guy, not put so much pressure on the idea of finding someone out there. Because sometimes the harder you look, the further it gets away. You want to have that belief that you know what you're doing, that you have that investment of who you are. That being said, when you find love within yourself, that's what you attract. We all talk about this manifestation, laws of attraction, visualizing, all these beautiful things. Well, that's, it works with love too, not just personal goals. So when you love yourself, you're falling in love with yourself, you know who you are, which by the way, relates to my product, How to Love a Man, which is my first one. And my second one, How to Make Him Fall in Love, are all about self-love, all about how to be in love with yourself, not just love yourself in a healthy way, which is meaning understanding you inside and out, understanding your flaws, your strengths, your weaknesses, and challenging yourself. The more you could do that, that makes you more attractive. That makes you more valuable. That makes you more appealing for a man who's going to see that and be like, wow, how do I get a part of her life? How can I compliment her? And I'm telling you, I know it's cliche and I know it's repetitive, but you need to practice that. It's the healthiest form of relationship dating. That's how you know whatever man that you do meet, he doesn't define your love. He compliments it. He doesn't define your purpose. He compliments it. He doesn't define your happiness, he compliments it. When you find the love in yourself, you attract more love, just like that manifestation towards goals, positivity, when you have that vision board, it happens, it works, we're all working through energy. So you wanna focus on creating your world, whatever it is, if it's that home that you wanna get, that beautiful garden in the backyard, you know, that beautiful apartment downtown, whatever it is, apl apply all of your skills and talents to focusing on creating your world and let the man happen naturally. Let the dating opportunity happen naturally. Be prepared, be ready, be emotionally available, be emotionally stable, be emotionally mature, which we talked about before. But when you set yourself up for success, it's gonna happen. So again, you can find love when you're not looking for it because you're looking for something more important for yourself. And that love will just follow towards that, it will be magnified towards what you're doing. As well, when you're looking for something in someone else, it's almost like you're looking for something you don't have, right? You wanna fill that void. When you're looking for something, you're pressured to find something all the time. Look for that within yourself. Obviously, I get it's not as fulfilling when you're not getting it from another person or the companionship, but try to find that. You know, they always say 50-50 in a relationship, but really, ultimately, I say it's 100-100. Be the best version of yourself. Obviously, you're never gonna be 100% perfect or 100% complete, but the more you shoot for it, the more you understand yourself, the more you have to offer for the person. That makes you more valuable. Again, more attractive, more sexy. Men love that because that's how you know you're just more, not just independent, but you're just so in tuned with, you know, always evolving, always self-challenging yourself, and that is attractive. So when you focus on that path, you happen to find love when you're not looking for it because you're looking for something bigger than that. And that's what? Not just a boyfriend or girlfriend, that's sustainability, longevity, healthy relationships for the long haul. So ideally, what would you do and what would change if you did find your dream relationship? What would you do? How would you feel? If you found your dream relationship, your dream guy, right? I would hope you'd feel the abundance of love and you would feel gratitude, 
right? Because you finally got what you want. You did all the right things. You did all the work. You stayed persistent. You stayed consistent. You stayed positive, And you felt the love of abundance and you felt gratitude. Well, just like the manifestation and the laws of attraction, practice that gratitude now. Try, uh, practice that abundance of love now because that will only attract more to come. I have a few more points I would love to go over with this and explain even deeper on my products, how to love a man, how to make him fall in love. But check out coachingwithundress.com. I'm here to help. I'd love to talk to you one-on-one or explain more detail about my products. Again, hit that subscription. If you happen to want to enjoy more future videos, hit that like. Any comments, suggestions, or feedback below, I am always here to help. Thank you ladies for watching, I'll see you soon.